Hello, this is Vern. Hey Vern on the Anime Studio Forum at LostMarble.com. I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on uh, inserting uh, keyframes and channels and specifically for the camera. Someone has requested some information and I think this is what they're looking for. If not, it's still a useful uh, still a useful tutorial information it's more of an animation technique in general I mean this information is not specific to anime studio this is uh, universal concepts for any program that uses keyframes similar to the way anime studio uh, uses keyframes so what I need to do is I need to undock the timeline because seeing that is gonna help out it's kinda small because I'm it's kind of hard to see during these uh, these little demonstrations so I'm gonna undock it and I'm gonna adjust it a little bit here so we can see it and I want to have access to the navigation here now what I've done is I've, I've created a just a simple layer with a box on it we're gonna be moving the camera around so it's just a just enough to see what we need to do um, now I'm, I'm basing this off of a total length of 240 frames and then halfway through the animation the camera will start to animate. So the first thing I need to do is create a keyframe at 200 at half of the, at the halfway point which would be 120 frames. So I type in 120. Oh, I'm sorry. Wrong box. Wrong box. Change that back. See how easy that is? You can change the length of the entire animation with one little click. All right. I'm going to go to frame 120. <coughs> and I'm going to click on the pan tilt tool for the camera now I'm not going to actually pan and tilt anything I'm just going to click keyframe now we have a keyframe let me zoom in on the timeline channel we now have a keyframe the pan and tilt channel is now visible and now nothing's happening we don't want anything to happen here that's just a hold key that keyframe is exactly the same as the keyframe on zero frame zero and so as we move to frame 120 nothing happens it's holding it in place so anything we do to that channel after frame 120 it will start moving from frame 120 so now we're going to go to the end of the animation I'm going to go to frame 240 and now I'm going to pan and tilt the camera it's just whatever there we go now what will happen is here's the end of our animation and as we down go down to frame 120 you can see that it's only animating from frame 120 to frame 240 that's the only movement you get with the camera now the problem I believe is that is the channels you have to keep in mind the channels of the camera um, and, and in fact everything has different channels animation channels for instance a bone has a rotation channel and a translation channel and a scale channel those are all separate if you key rotation on a frame it is not going to place a key for translation. Why would it? You're rotating it. Um, in order to have a key for translation, you have to f go in and put that key in. Same with the camera. If I came over here now to the uh, rotate camera tool, there is no channel for the rotate camera tool because I have not put in any rotation of the camera. The rotation, what we did was just pan and tilt. That's, uh, you know, it's it's tilting forward or it's tilting it's rotating left and right and but it's not rotating around it's sort of I think it's called the roll um, actually it's roll camera so now I'm gonna put a key in for roll camera now look what happened we have a new channel now that's visible there's pan and tilt and there's the camera roll on top now if you look down here here's our keyframe for pan and tilt there's no keyframe for ro for roll what that means is the camera is rolling starting all the way back here at frame zero because there's no hold key alright well how do we fix that well it's really easy you just go to frame 120 make sure you're on frame 120 where you want that hold for the roll of the camera 
and then you come down here and you select that key on frame zero keeping your timeline marker here on 120 you just select the key on frame zero and you press the copy button and the paste button and now you have a hold and now the pan and tilt and the roll don't start until frame 120 I hope that covers this I mean that that applies to everything um, bones uh, points anything that has a channel a separate specific channel you have to key that channel it won't be keyed for you automatically you have to put that key in if you rotate a bone you're only rotating the bone you're not moving it you're not scaling it so you have to you have to put that key in there it won't be keyed for you automatically anyway that's it I hope that answers some questions and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time